Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a full face. This is what you see, but very minimal, very simple, clean, clean makeup. Today is a six product look, and this is the kind of thing that I uh, whip up when I'm in a hurry and I just have 10 minutes to get ready and that's it. I can go more minimal than that and I do want to film um, a video about very very minimal impactful looks uh, because I think that would be fun and useful uh, but today let's discuss my sort of everyday full face but really light natural and sheer makeup. The only thing that isn't uh, clean on the cleaner side of, of uh, cosmetics here is going to be my mascara that is not clean because I don't have one on hand that is open and I wasn't going to open a mascara just to sort of fit the video but ingredients in the rest of the products are very satisfactory this is not the EWG certified cleanest possible most organic sort of thing you'll ever see but for somebody who's transitioning towards cleaner beauty or wants better for you products, this is gonna be nice. I started the look with using Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is a fairly clean product. Um, the ingredients are very, very satisfactory to me. It does have titanium dioxide, 3.6%. It's a little bit more than 35 mils and it, it has broad spectrum SPF 30 so this is an all-rounder for me it's moisturizing but not greasy it's gel like spreads easily blends in really really fast it's a good color match for me but color match is not the most important thing here because it's actually quite sheer mine is an opal 01 it's a very sheer layer of makeup so I wouldn't expect it to you know do wonders for you coverage wise that's not what it's for it's for lightweight quick um, all-in-one sort of application and it's fantastic for that if you're looking for a product to be very blendable quick gel like lightweight and with sheer to light coverage this is your guy I do recommend it I really like it too if you want more coverage next step is optional I am showing it to you today it is a concealer application um, I have personally applied it to the under eyes I applied it to the chin a little bit over the forehead basically you put it where you need it it's the version of pinpoint concealing but a little bit sloppier because I don't have time to take out a tiny brush and sit there blending that out but you just tap it in with your fingertips and it provides a just a touch more coverage still my skin really shines through and I've only applied it to very very few places After that I'm moving to the hero product of the bunch I think this is a fantastic pick really really fun but not for everybody so who is going to like this little uh, deodorant looking stick this is oleo e also balm and mine is in number five I have a couple more shades I'll do a full review this is the cleanest uh, product in this entire video and it is a beautiful sheer moisturizing balm tinted and they do have different tints I um, picked up a few and I'm really really happy with it but I can see how people might really dislike it or think that it doesn't do much it does leave as you can see a little bit of a glowy effect on the skin which I really like it's very moisturizing and comfortable on the lips on the cheeks it looks super nice and glowy and gives you just a little tint of color that's what I'm looking for so if you like a tint of color and your light to fair to maybe medium I don't think this will show up on anything darker than sort of medium light um, or it won't show up very well it is still going to give you a nice sheen and the moisturization so I'm not necessarily deterring you but if you're looking for a tint this is very very faint and I don't think that um, if you're looking for color this is going to be your best pick absolutely not there are plenty of stick uh, products out there that are clean like check out Vapor Beauty they have fantastic stick products I don't think this is going to be your jam if you are looking for color but if you're looking for the ever slightest hint of tint 
Um, I think you're going to really like it, especially if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, you might find it a little too nourishing. For the lips, everybody's going to enjoy this, I think. But for the cheeks, I think if you're oilier, um, you might find this a bit much. If you're normal to dry, in the winter especially, I think you're going to find this very, very comfortable for your skin. And this glossy look of very, very hydrated skin is super in and it's always in because healthy glowing skin is always a trend. So I totally recommend you check these guys out if you are into the idea of a whisper of color and lots of moisturizing properties. The ingredient list is flawless. It has natural shea oil, organic olive oil, beeswax, natural grapefruit essential oil, and iron oxides for the color. That's it. So I can count the ingredients and read them out to you super easily. This is a very positive thing for me as well because I really, really like very clean, minimal, um, moisturizing products and this is definitely one of them. To increase staying power, because I am going to work, I did add powder. You don't have to if you don't need to, but if you need to, go ahead. And in my case, I added Nude by Nature powder. This is translucent loose finishing powder. If you're looking for a clean drugstore but still nice packaging sort of powder, I think Nude by Nature is a really good one. It doesn't flash back. I've set my under eyes and anywhere I apply the concealer, basically. Um, this powder is not the one that is going to be ultra mod mattifying, so it's not going to take away all life in your skin. As you can see, I still have plenty of glow, but it does set down the product in order for it to wear well and to not sort of crease and move around, which obviously nobody likes that, okay? Even if you have dry skin, you don't like that. So setting down with a really lightweight, very fine mill of a powder is always a good option if you want longevity and this one I really enjoy. I don't think that this is like the best powder ever or the cleanest best powder ever but it is very nice. I enjoy it tremendously so I do recommend it. For eyebrows I've opted for the Plume Eyebrow Pomade. Mine is in Ashy Daybreak. This is probably my favorite clean brow product. This pomade is extremely wearable. It applies very nicely. It's easy to wear. A very nice color match for me and I think this color will look very good on a lot of people. And basically I think a superior quality product. Now it's not going to be as budge proof as Anastasia but I haven't had any issues with it traveling, smudging, etc. And I really like the brush that it comes with as well so totally totally recommend Plume. I think a super good choice if you're looking for a clean brow pomade. I haven't tried anything better than that. kind of a look is something I do often just because it is so so quick. Since the thing that usually takes the most time is eyeshadow blending, I've foregone this and just went with a liner that I smudged up and blown out pretty significantly upwards. So from the lash line and as far as it would blend and this gives you this little smoky lash line that is very wearable, very pretty and it looks like you've put in the effort that you probably didn't. Um, in my case I've used Nude by Nature. Uh, eyeliner pencil, eye contour pencil I think it's called, and I've used the smudger on the back because I find that's very handy and easy to use.
the last product that I've used is this mascara and I've uh, not picked a clean mascara because I don't have one open on hand this is this particular one is the one I really like um, it is a violet or purple dark purple tinted mascara in extra dimension lash from MAC um, and I encourage you to try colored mascaras if they're on the dark side they're going to really accentuate your features and bring some interest to a very very simple look it's not like it's any more time to apply colored mascara versus a black mascara so if you're feeling like you want some pep in your look a colored mascara is a good way to add it um, I've applied one and a half coats and it's all I need really my eye look is done the look today it's very simple I'm sure every single one of you has those few go-to products that you can create something similar with let me know what your absolute minimum is in terms of makeup if you do wear makeup and uh, I hope you enjoyed the little get ready with me showdown of products that's it for today have a wonderful day good luck see you later bye bye